Skype callers coming in. Another new face and a shining name, Danny. Hey, what's up, Garrett? What's up? Red Rum, brother. How are you? I'm good, man. I just tuned in. Oh, my God. I can't get used to these controls. I got to going back to tank. The controls, I start walking up and the camera changes, and then I start walking back down a lot. But I'll get the hang of it. So, Danny, how uh, how's it going? Shut the fuck up. Don't listen to Beat. That wasn't for you. <laughs> it's going good, man. Um, all right, first of all... Um, Hit me with the first off. Hit me first of all. What do you think... Were you kind of attracted? Are you rubbing the Buddha's belly to enjoy responsibly? Does that kind of do it for you? Because her voice well, is, it's so, she's trying to be so sexual. I am underage. But, so and it doesn't, doesn't it entice you to drink their beer though? Their brand of sexy football beer? <laughs> Listen to the smile. It's the perfect anytime beer. It's the perfect anytime beer. Yeah. When doesn't that make you just totally want to go out and get it? When I turn 21, man. It's the perfect anytime beer. I, I really wish you could hear. I mean, you can you can kind of hear the spittle in the sides of her mouth because she's smiling so hard. It's the perfect anytime beer. It's the it's like. It's the perfect anytime beer. Oh wow! I wonder how far I could get the microphone down my throat. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it will sound funny? Check. Oh, God. I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna turn the pitch up. And get the camera back here. Okay. Um. <laughs> Someone said in the chat ASMR. That's some pretty hardcore oh. ASMR gear. There's like. Gross. There's gross stuff on there. It's like spittle. Anyway. Yeah, quality man, programming, of, folks. I just had a couple of questions. Hit me with those questions. Um, Rocco I likes actually, it. I called in during your uh, New Year show, and I forgot to ask during then. Um, what do you? What you? You had a, a question you left off the table. Yeah. I noticed you guys got some shirts from uh, Million Dollar Extreme. Oh yeah, just... I was wearing that MDE shirt. That's a that thing was like a glitter bomb. I found glitter all over my body for like the next two weeks straight. Yeah, I've heard the insides of those shirts are actually like sticky. Yeah, <laughs> how did you hear that? <laughs> I don't know. People are saying they like. They yeah, the, watch them. the inside of the shirt was super fucking sticky. You have to wash it before you do anything. Number one, you got to get some of that glitter off. And number two, yeah, the inside's like got a fucking, it's like someone's used fucking cum sock. <laughs> it was, uh, it hey, was I bad, man. Past, I, mean, I wouldn't put it past the same home. The, uh, I think it was whatever process they do that all over printing with, that's some, yeah. like, residue it leaves behind. It washed out perfectly. I mean, just wash it when you first get it. Yeah. Damn it, well, I keep I gonna, the button. I was gonna ask, um, yeah. does, does Mega64 have any relationship with Million Dollar Extreme. Well, we are, uh, yeah, our relationship is that we're fuck buddies. It's, Ooh. it's a no strings attached kind of sexual relationship, but to be honest, yeah, that's the relationship. So you're fuck buddies. Can we look forward to a fuck baby? To a fuck fest? A, a Mega 64 Mega Million Dollar Extreme, uh, Love child. I don't know what's going on with them. The poor guys got their fucking Facebook taken down and their YouTube channel fucked up. I, I don't know where they stand. Like, do they get their they've got their Facebook taken down too? Well maybe it wasn't the Facebook. Maybe it's maybe I'm just thinking of one thing. But I know they've done some collab stuff with um a group called OK Computer. My favorite yeah. thing they've ever done has come out of that moms. I but, love uh, moms. <laughs> it's so fucking hard. It's hard. It's hard to watch. <laughs> but uh <laughs> But yeah, man, it, it's the fucking best, and those guys are the shit. I I don't know. They're they're on the East Coast. Maybe we need like a jackass style. You got CKY and uh, number two. What was the? Yeah. What were the other guys? Oh, I can't think right now. What was the skate company that Knoxville and 
Big Brother, yeah. Big Brother number two was the video I had with all that shit, shit that Knoxville did in the first Jackass episode. All right, get this. I haven't actually, like, watched Do a mashup. CKY, but I remember when I was, like, several years ago, I was, like, 11 years old, um, I was at a buddy's house, and keep in mind I was 11. He, he loaded up CKY. Oh, at, at 11 is when you should be watching CKY. <laughs> it was a scene where the guy's, like, taking a shit, and he put yeah. a camera, like, right under his asshole. Hell yeah. That, to that Bjork. Image, that still haunts my mind to this day. It opens on that to a Bjork song. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to Iceland. Squid looking at the fucking arrow. I know I can't carry any more items. Um, oh, yeah. So, yeah, man. When you're 11, that's when you should be watching TKY. Because when you try to watch it now, especially with people that don't know what it is, it's not a very grown-up show. And it's kind of embarrassing. I'm Rocco, were you there, there when we were showing it to someone like a couple years ago? Yeah. And they were like, this is really, like, wow. Like, it, it was kind of embarrassing, because it's like, wow, this is juvenile as fuck. What is that? I, I wasn't embarrassed. I felt bad they weren't into it. Yeah, I did kind of, they I didn't. Them. Yeah, I just was kind of embarrassed that I was like, wow, I was a really big fan of this. It is pretty juvenile. I love it, nonetheless. I'll still yeah. watch Bam, or I'll still watch Brandon <laughs> get <laughs> pissed on. While he's asleep with his mouth open. Oh, rest in peace, Jess. Oh, shouts out. The MTV made this uh, little episode they aired not too long ago. It was like a history of CKY. Rocco, you showed me that. It's on iTunes. Hey, go out and get that. They only aired it, I think, once. I will. A couple I'll times. It, it, it was. It was. Uh, if you're into CKY, it's awesome. Little documentary with a little, little more Novak than I'd appreciate, but whatever. But Bam, mm. like, sets up some history stuff. It's it's cool. Some historical things. Anyway, yeah. uh, I locked it. Yeah, I figured I'd round out the call. I got another question. This round out that call with one more question. And then I got to make a I gotta make a call on my own. We're reaching that. Oh. We go live at 7. It's now 8.30, dude. That's that's the fucking show. Dude, I'm excited for that. All right. We got we to gotta um, hurry. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna go, gonna... to go a little later tonight. Don't worry, guys. I figure I keep it topical. We're, we're playing a game with guns today, and I know you're a bit of a, a gunster. Yeah, I'm, uh, I've been known to be a six-star shooter. You know what they say about <laughs> gunsters. I'm thinking um, it's about that time I get one for myself. Nothing, oh, yeah. nothing criminal. We keep it legal, but would you have any recommendations for a first-time firearm owner? Well, uh, are you experienced handling firearms? Have you had any experience shooting guns? <laughs> The, I shot a your gun. Father, once. grandfather, or anything like that? It, it it scared the shit out of me. I shot one gun. One gun. But you want to get one now. Well, I mean Well it depends on what you're looking yeah, for. Do you how old are you? I'm nineteen. You're nineteen, alright. Um well you can't get a handgun until you're twenty one. Well actually uh, I don't know where you live. Gun laws uh, could be different. I live in Washington State, so So it could be different. Yeah. I don't know, man. It depends on what you want to do with your gun. Do you want to just go to a gun range and go target practicing? Do you want something for home defense eventually? Do you want to go hunting? Uh, just, you know, shooting range for fun and also self-defense. You want to spend... You know what? You're a young guy. You don't have a lot of money. Guns are expensive. Really? Yeah. But you might have fun with, like, a little twenty two. Uh... Or even a 9mm pistol if you want to just take it to the range and shoot. You gotta you gotta get all the shit that goes along with it though. You gotta get the safe, you gotta lock that motherfucker up. Yeah. <laughs> Ammo's expensive as hell too. That's really a big thing considering uh, I mean if you're going rifles, you don't wanna buy something that has, you know, stupid expensive rounds to where it's like fifty cents every time you pull the fucking trigger. Then you never end up wanting to shoot it. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I figured I'd just get your opinion since I, I knew you were into that stuff, but... Yeah, I don't know, oh. man. To each his own. You know, my first, uh... I guess my first gun was a gun I inherited. It was a rifle. <laughs> and then I got a handgun after that. And then, uh, I've, I've been interested in shotguns. But I haven't really gone out and, uh, gotten one. From what I hear, a uh, nice shotgun is the perfect home defense weapon. 
Yeah, I don't know. Uh, the concept of guns freaks me out, but I still... It's a bit scary. Rather, I'd rather have one than not have one, I think. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what a lot of people feel. You know, there's a lot of bad guys out there with guns, so... You'd hate to be stuck, you know, backed into a corner without one if you know they have them, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> also, as a sport, hey, shooting's, like, a lot of fun. It is kind of expensive, but I, I haven't gotten to the range in a long fucking time. All right. Uh, yeah, before I go ahead and peace out, I want to say... Peace I out. Moto, I have a Moto G beef with Chris. It's a great phone, man. Go fuck yourself. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Chris and him have a difference of opinion. Someone's on uh, the droid side. The other's going with that Motorola. I don't know. I don't know even which... I don't even know what that means. 